Hi, I'm Claire Crisp. I am the CEO of the Hypersomnia Foundation. Um, I'm also a caregiver to a child with narcolepsy, have authored a book called Waking Matilda and been an advocate for um, families with narcolepsy for over a decade. Um, but I'm particularly excited today in my role as CEO of the Hypersomnia Foundation to work with Harmony Biosciences. And I'd love to hand over to Salvatore right now um, so that he can introduce himself. Thanks, Claire. Hi, my name is Dr. Salvatore Insana, and I'm the Director of Clinical Development at Harmony Biosciences. I'm so excited to spend this time with you. I wonder whether you could just share with us a little bit more about Harmony Biosciences. Sure. Harmony Biosciences is a pharmaceutical company that develops and commercializes therapies for people living with rare neurological disorders who have unmet medical needs. Harmony Biosciences was founded in 2017 by Paragon Biosciences and has the US rights to Pitolosan, which is licensed from a company named Bioproget in France. And Harmony is a public company, and we have a growing therapeutic pipeline, which is depicted in the figure at the bottom right-hand side. As you can see, our idiopathic hypersomnia clinical program investigating the use of Pitolosan is currently in phase three. Yeah, it's really exciting. I wonder whether you could share a little bit more with our community exactly what that means. Sure. The official study title is listed on this slide, but is more commonly referred to as the Intune study. The primary objective of the study is to evaluate the safety and efficacy of patolosan compared with placebo in treating excessive daytime sleepiness in adults with idiopathic hypersomnia, or IH. We are also evaluating the efficacy of patolosan compared with placebo and treating other symptoms of IH. Key study inclusion criteria follow. However, a complete list of inclusion criteria is listed on clinicaltrials.gov, reference NCT 0515-60047. Participants must be at least 18 years of age at the time of screening, able to provide voluntary written informed consent, have a current diagnosis of IH, and have excessive daytime sleepiness at the time of screening. Key study exclusion criteria follow. However, a complete list of exclusion criteria is listed on clinicaltrials.gov, reference NCT 0515-60047. Participants who have hypersomnia due to another medical condition, experience an average of less than six hours of sleep per night, have unmanaged obstructive sleep apnea, are not on stable doses of current medications, or are not able to discontinue prohibited medications. An important aspect of the study is that participants are allowed to continue taking their medications to treat excessive daytime sleepiness as long as they remain on a stable dose, and as long as the study doctor says it's okay. This slide depicts the study design. The study consists of four parts. Participants will first complete a screening and baseline phase. Next, participants will complete an open label phase where they will receive patolosan for eight weeks. Depending on how participants respond to patolosan during the open label phase, some of those participants will be finished with the study and others may continue on to the four week double blind randomized withdrawal phase. During this double blind randomized withdrawal phase, half of the participants will continue to receive patolosan and the other half will receive placebo. Neither the participant nor the study doctor will know if the participant is receiving patolosan or placebo. Finally, upon completion of the double blind randomized withdrawal phase, all participants will enter a safety follow-up phase. All participants who complete the study will have the opportunity to participate in an additional open-label study to assess the safety and effectiveness of the TOLOSA. Participation in this study will take approximately four to five months. During the study, participants will have five in-person visits and seven to nine scheduled telephone calls with the study center. Study procedures will include lab tests requiring blood to be drawn, physical exams, questionnaires, and other assessments related to learning and memory. 
There are approximately 60 sites across the United States. We expect 200 participants to be included in this trial. We do provide travel expense reimbursement. Up-to-date study information, trial site locations, and trial site contacts can be found at the following URL, www.intuneihstudy.com. That's www.intuneihstudy.com. As with any clinical study, participation is voluntary and the study drug may cause side effects. After the completion of the study, participants will have the option to enter an open label extension study. More information about the study and study site locations can be accessed at the following links and QR code. Oh, thank you, Salvatore. That's um, such great information. Thank you very much for having me today. It was a pleasure speaking with you about our trial. You too.